Hi. In our today's lesson, we are going to discuss angle of elevation and angle of depression. In our previous video, we discussed how we can use trigonometric ratios to solve right angle triangles, finding their perpendicular height or adjacent side or hypotenuse or sometimes finding unknown angles. So now we are going to discuss angle of elevation and angle of depression, a very important part in O levels or IGCSE trigonometry. Now let's assume that these are two buildings, okay? Suppose this is building X and here we have building Y, right? And this is point of observation that is top of building X. There are two points. From this point, if you observe top of this building A, okay? And from this point, you can also observe uh, a point that is bottom of building Y. So what is angle of elevation? Remember, angle of elevation is something so whenever you observe a point above your level angle you make is called angle of elevation okay and whenever you observe a point below your level angle you made is angle of depression for instance you are standing at top of this building x and you observe top of building y now we can see that is higher than this building a this is known as level ground okay suppose this is the level ground this is the ground both the buildings are okay and that is horizontal or known as level ground and this is a parallel line to this now the observer makes this angle is known as angle of elevation and when you make this angle whenever you observe a point below your level this is known as angle of depression so angle of elevation would be angle when you observe any particle or any point above your level that would be angle of elevation and Whenever you observe a point that is below your level, that is known as angle of depression. Let's uh, solve an example related to angle of elevation and depression. Now, this is the question. Find the angle of elevation of top of a tower 600 meter high as observed from a point that is 800 meter away from the foot of the tower. Now, let's assume that this be the tower and uh, its height is given as 600 meters okay and this is foot of uh, the tower and suppose this is point of observation and observer is 800 meter away from the foot okay and that makes an angle of this top of the tower yes this is top of the tower right and uh, you make an this angle we are observing a particle that is above our level, okay? And uh, in this question, we need to find this angle. Here you go. This is theta. That is angle of elevation. Now, from the basic trigonometric ratio that we discussed in our previous uh, videos, this is perpendicular or opposite side. This is adjacent side, right? So, opposite or adjacent is always tan theta. So, so from basic trigonometric ratios, we, we apply trigonometric ratio tan of theta will be equal to 600 divided by 800 meters and theta would be equal to tan inverse of whatever you have so theta in this case is going to be 36. 8, 6, we convert it as 36.9 degrees. So here you go. Such kind of questions you're going to observe, you're going to get in your exams. That this is angle of, uh, this is top of a tower that is 600 meter high and you are observing this tower 800 meter away. So you need to find angle of elevation of top of this tower. So that's exactly how it goes, how you're going to find it, right? We apply basic trigonometric ratios because it's opposite or adjacent or perpendicular over base. This is opposite over adjacent. And we know that when we have opposite over adjacent, we apply tan. So tan theta would be 600 over 800. So we find theta by taking tan on the other side. That is tan inverse of 36.9. That would be angle of elevation. It is 36.9, right? Here is another question of angle of depression. So uh, a ship is 700 meter away from lighthouse uh, that is 500 meter high. Now it is given that height of this lighthouse is 700 meters 
and uh, uh, a ship that is approaching lighthouse is 500 meter away and we need to find the angle of depression of the ship when observed from the top of this lighthouse suppose this is top of this lighthouse from where you are observing okay it's very important to understand that this would be now level ground okay so we 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 draw a straight line that is parallel to lighthouse now this from this we observe shape that makes an angle of depression a very important concept angle of depression is always with the parallel line like this would be angle of depression that we require okay I repeat this would be angle of depression that we require okay sometimes some student make this that is wrong with your level the angle that makes uh, when you observe any part particle that is below your level so angle that you make with your level is known as angle of depression so this is theta that is required having said that now you see this is a right angle triangle and we believe that these two lines are parallel so this theta would be equal to this because of alternate angles right they make alternate angles and we know that alternate angles are equal so here you go in this question this is 700 this is 500 that is theta which what is required now opposite to theta is always perpendicular or opposite and this is base or adjacent side using trigonometric ratio we apply tan so tan of theta would be equal to tan theta in this case is going to be opposite over adjacent that is 700 upon 500 so it's 700 divided by 500 and we have theta equal to we can take tan over there on the other side that makes it tan inverse of 700 divided by 500 so this case theta is going to be 54.5 degrees so this is angle of depression that this ship makes when observed from top of this 700 meter high tower okay